Thanks for having me here. So my talk is about electromagnetic waves and in particular, tailoring electromagnetic waves. So when we, uh, in electrical engineering, we typically design electric circuits that, for example, you may find them in your cell phones. The key things when you are designing electric circuits is tailoring voltage and currents throughout the circuit. So it's all about shaping voltages and currents. But for some application, you need to take the energy which is contained within the circuit and transform it to energy carried by electromagnetic waves in a space around us, for example, in wireless communication. So as soon as this happens, now you need to be able to control electromagnetic waves. You need to, for example, to control them to go this way and, for example, create a null in a certain direction. So that's all about controlling them. So we're looking for devices to enable us to control them. And one of the devices that many researchers have worked on, and in its advanced form, it has been suggested uh, starting about 2011, is metasurfaces that you, for example, see one of them in this slide. So these are very thin devices, thus the name surface. And also they can do things that goes beyond natural material and thus the name meta that goes together as meta surface. So when electromagnetic wave hit this surface, you can control the outgoing electromagnetic wave in the way that you desire for your application. So that's what we are working on. Once you fabricate this device, you need to be able to measure it. So this is the measurement facility that we have in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. One of them is measurement close to the metal surface, which we call it near field measurement facility. The other one is farther from metal surface. So you're creating a very far condition by a device called serrated reflector. So this is gonna be called far field measurement facility. So these would be our measurements. In terms of contribution in my research group, the main contribution has been on a design strategy that we refer to as inverse design. So essentially what this design procedure provides us with is the ability for the designer to begin the design process from various forms of desired specification. So for example, in this, in this case, you see a radiation pattern that we would like to have and then based on that, we designed the metal surface to transform the energy from a given antenna to what we want. In terms of application that we are pursuing, one of them is a smart radio environments. In a conventional wireless communication, all the focus is on the transmitter and receiver. And this is space, for example, this theater is assumed to be uncontrollable. So whatever happens here happens. But now imagine if you can have these surfaces like a thin poster on the walls of this theater, then you can actually control the wireless propagation channel that you have. So it's not only transmitter receiver, but you control the propagation too. So that would be uh, one application of that. The other thing is designing of antennas. So if you want to create a certain radiation pattern, you design a new antenna. But based on this method, you can use your existing antenna and use this meta surface as a transformer. So in electrical engineering, probably most of you know about electric transformer, convert voltage to another voltage. This one converts one electromagnetic wave to another one. So that's the similar concept. Then electromagnetic imaging, for example, for various applications, including biomedical imaging. When you go to imaging process, there is usually an imaging chamber. And within this imaging chamber, you may want to control the propagation of electromagnetic waves. For example, the walls of the chamber could be based, made of these materials, and this gives you extra degree of freedom to perhaps increase, for example, the achievable image accuracy. Thank you very much.